Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to do a countdown of my top 10 favorite 1984 films. So stick around. So back in 1984, I was a 15-year-old teenager who loved watching movies and going to movies. Also, I was one that got my first job and was able to buy my first VCR. So a lot of these titles that I'm going to show you today are titles that I used to have on VHS and quite well may still have some of these titles. Um, but I'm just going to show you the regular releases that I've got now in my collection. Um, but the top 10 for these films in 1984 were really tough to to narrow down because there's so many great films in 1984. So just because I didn't um, list my top 20, 25, which I probably could have done. I'm just going to narrow this down to my top 10. So during the month of March, Ken over at Mid-Level Media has a theme month for 1984 films. So a lot of these films I'm going to be talking about today are films that I watched during this month. Um, so I'm going to give you my top 10 in a pretty quick manner. Um, so first up at number 10, we have Red Dawn. Now Red Dawn is one that I haven't seen in a long time, but I did re-watch this one during the month of March. I really enjoy it. Really good film. Um, it's got an all-star cast. Patrick Swayze, um, Charlie Sheen, um, and a bunch of other people that I can't really think of at this moment. But a really good film about a bunch of teenagers who have to fight, I guess what they call World War III, where a bunch of communists have landed in this town in Colorado. And so it's really good to see these young people grow up, um, having to to grow up fast, I guess, because of this fighting up against the communists. But it has a really good story, and I really enjoy it. Now, at number um, nine, I have a comedy here, of course, with Eddie Murphy. It's Beverly Hills Cop. Really enjoy Beverly Hills Cop. It had been a while since I had seen this one. Really fun movie. I really enjoy all of the performances um, and the comedic moments. So that is my number nine. Okay, coming in at number eight, we have 16 Candles, which I've always enjoyed. If I want to think about my days in high school, um, for whatever reason, I do think of 16 Candles. Um, that and Breakfast Club and um, any of those films that come out from John Hughes back in the 80s always reminds me of my high school days. Um, of course, I wasn't very involved like a lot of these people are. Um, but anyway, 16 Candles is a fun film. Really enjoy it. And so that is my number eight pick. Now, number seven is a horror movie, and it is A Nightmare on Elm Street. I do remember seeing this one in the theater when it first came out back in 1984. Really enjoyed it. Of course, everybody enjoyed it, I think. Um, it was different than what we had seen before, the way that Freddy could get into your dreams and kill you. A very interesting concept, and of course, it led to a very big franchise. And so this is Nightmare, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay, coming in at number six, we have Blood Simple from Joel and Ethan Cohen. I did revisit this movie here during the month of March. I really enjoyed it. It had been a while since I had seen this one. Um, really good story. I enjoyed the storyline, the plot. The If you've never seen it, just definitely just check this one out. Really good story. I highly recommend it. Okay, coming in at number five, we have The Terminator. So I always enjoy The Terminator. I actually saw Terminator before I saw Terminator 2. I know a lot of people watch these things a little differently. Some people have seen Terminator 2 before they see Terminator. I just love this story. I enjoy the um, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger's performance. Uh, but anyways, I enjoy The Terminator and that is my number five pick. Okay, coming in at number four is a film that I remember seeing in the theater back in 1984 and it is The Karate Kid. I do revisit this movie quite often, and um, just a really fun story. I think everybody's seen Karate Kid. If you haven't, definitely check that out. Now, coming in at number three is a film that I do remember seeing in the theater, and of course, I remember sneaking off to go see this movie. Um, I know that um, my wife, Sonia, went to see it with me, and, you know, she wasn't really allowed to go to the movies. And um, so I do remember sneaking off to go see Gremlins. And um, I do remember how much we enjoyed it. It was just a really fun film, seeing these little bitty creatures on the screen. Um, but anyway, this was Gremlins. I, I'm sure everybody has seen this one. This is my number three pick. Then coming in at number two 
is a fun film and it is Ghostbusters. So Ghostbusters has always been a, one of my favorites from 1984. Um, I enjoyed the, the music. I enjoyed the comedy, um, the horror elements in it, and of course the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man was great. Um, I've also enjoyed the special features of where it shows how all of this stuff was produced and created. So um, definitely check out Ghostbusters if you've never seen it, which seems kind of odd that I would say that. I assume everybody's seen Ghostbusters. But that's my number two pick. Now coming in at number one is another film I remember having to sneak off to go see with my wife, who of course wasn't my wife back when I was 15 years old. But um, it was Footloose. And she grew up in a home where... Um, man, I'm not going to get into all that. Okay, so number one is Footloose. This is also one of the first... Um, movie soundtracks that we um, added to our collection back in 1984. This um, soundtrack was something else. I remember getting the cassette tape for this and um, this is probably one of my wife's favorite movies back in those days. And um, anyway, great soundtrack, Kenny Loggins, all those great songs. And I did recently re-watch this one. I know this would probably not be a lot of people's number one picks. For 1984, but I do have a lot of fond memories of this film. I do remember getting this one on VHS back in the day. Um, but great story. If you've never seen this edition of Footloose, definitely check it out. I've never actually seen the remake that they did a few years back. I definitely probably need to check that one out. But anyway, that that is Footloose at number one. So those are my top 10 films in 1984. Now, if you were to ask me again, the numbers might switch around a little bit, but when I think of 1984, these are the 10 films that I generally think of. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my particular top 10 list. And also give me your list of what you think your top 10 films of 1984 would be. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. If you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.